Hi. I hope everyone can hear me. As we know, last time I attempted a live stream, there was no sound. So if you pop on, if you happen to pop on, then um, please tell me whether or not you can hear me. Um, uh, risky live stream. <laughs> Because I'm walking in, um, on this butte trail that I frequent, but I always get lost. Like, I always, like, end up going the wrong way. <laughs> like, down the right path, the wrong path, and I'm like, Bleh. I don't know if my car's there. So, we'll see. Hopefully, I might actually stop and sit for a minute to talk, but, um... If you pop on, tell me if you can hear me. Last time it didn't work so well. So, um, I've seen so many posts and I don't even want to talk about <laughs> what is actually happening because um, I think that there's inherent judgment happening with how people are reacting to it, how people are not reacting to it, how leaders are being judged and how they're showing up or not showing up. And this isn't the time for that. Um, this is the time to go beyond everything that you ever thought you knew about anything. Um, I see the, the word normal going around, like returning to normalcy or like ooh, perfect rock. Um, you know, like keeping a sense of normalcy. And I'm like, well, everyone has their own fucking version of normal. So calibrating ourselves back to normal seems like an odd thing to do when we're always changing and we're always moving and we're always shifting in our lives like nothing is fucking stagnant so I want this to be time for everybody to just be who they are and not be really a time for anything but to do what feels right like to connect back into soul connect back to source take the time to you know, be, right? We all need that opportunity. And I feel like this is the most beautiful fucking opportunity. Our whole nation, our whole world has gotten in a, a long fucking time to settle, to be quiet, to fucking listen to ourselves, to not worry about what anybody else is doing. Because, you know, with the media and social media, there's so many different opinions, viewpoints, studies, research, all going around that you can pull up you can pull up you can decide to subscribe to or not to subscribe to and I think that this is the perfect opportunity for everybody to go beyond what they're seeing outside of themselves and to look within to look deeper to decide maybe you know you're not working or maybe you are working but people are calling out sick all the time or you know so your workload's harder or maybe there's nobody there at all and you need to take this time to discover maybe you've really never thought about what you actually like you know or maybe you are somebody like me who's a messenger and you've wanted to you know speak your truth but you've been scared and so maybe that's your opportunity for this is to speak out and and remind everybody that the truth is love the truth is peace. The truth is calm. And we don't get anywhere in a frenzy. We don't get anywhere in chaos. We don't, we don't thrive and we don't move forward if we're stuck in this place of stress and worry. So, you know, what are you here for? Ask yourself that question today, this morning. You've never meditated before, maybe. Sit the fuck down and be quiet and see what happens. You know, like all these things that we are so scared of in our lives are all bubbling up to the surface right now. And this is only an opportunity to look beyond that, right? Because you can get stuck in the fear. You can reel in the fear. You can get stuck in your old patterns. But what you're going to see is them glaring you right in the fucking eyeballs without the distractions of so much of the outside world right now. And you're going to be forced to look in and say and question and get excited, I mean, it's all an opportunity. It's all a choice. And um, I think it's a great opportunity for so many people to do something different, to decide something different, to think different thoughts, right? Other than the typical fear thoughts, you know, like, I mean, there's one scenario we could all consider is that like literally society as we know it breaks fucking down. We don't need to go there, but like think about that possibility for a hot second and 
where would your place be in it? Would you be quiet? Would you be scared? Would you be meek? Or would you be speaking your fucking truth? Would you be standing up no matter what the fuck's happening, no matter whether you had to wipe your ass with leaves or not? How would you, how would you react? How would you show up? And um, I think that it's bringing so much to the surface and it doesn't even matter, right? Just let this be a fucking opportunity to go beyond. And that's my new course that I'm opening that the link has not posted yet for, but I'll get to that today to go beyond what you thought was possible to go beyond fear and tap back into faith. What does it, what does it feel like to show up in your fucking life full of fucking faith, full of knowing, full of trust, not letting fear have a voice, have a say. Yes, it's always going to be there. It's always going to be peeping its little head up. It's part of who we are, but it doesn't have to run the fucking show. It doesn't have to be in the driver's seat. And that's your opportunity to stand up, to be firm in who you actually are, to remember that God, universe, source, whoever the fuck you choose, whatever the fuck you choose, to believe in at a higher level. And if you don't believe in anything at a higher level, maybe it's time to think about that too. I mean believe in love, believe in nature, believe in, you know, the ability of you to move past what your norm is, right? Normal is just a fucking word. It's not anything that anybody needs to subscribe to or reach, right? It's this opportunity to be able to go deeper, to go further into who you are and to not let all of the outside circumstances that you see around you dictate you. Yes, be fucking smart. Yes, wash your fucking hands. I mean, let's not be stupid. I think social distancing is a great thing. You know, I think that there's so much to be said about these people who actually care and want us all to survive, you know, this pandemic. But, you know, let it be a pandemic of fucking growth. Let it be a pandemic of beauty. Let it be a pandemic of, I actually stopped and sat the fuck down and listened to myself more than I've ever fucking listened to myself before. And that's the only place that your power lies anyways. And it's a beautiful thing. So I hope that everyone can like, you know, take a moment, put your hand on your heart. Think about the love in your heart that you have for everybody around you and the caring that you're is pouring out for everybody and then fucking dance like everybody dance like do a fucking dance about life like we are alive we are fucking here we are we are meant to be experiencing all of this right now it is supposed to be so roll with it go deeper and i will post the link for beyond today it's all about expanding into who we didn't think that we ever were right it's all about living from a different place we never thought possible right moving beyond fear and back to faith and having a strong easy knowing joyful conviction in the whole fucking reason that you are here just you you know we're all interconnected we're all part of the whole and but you have to find your place in it all fuck this was the risky part guys but because I don't know which. <gasps> okay, I think it's this way. Crap. I always get lost on this trail, I swear to God. I almost walked all the way down the other place where I usually park, and I'm not parked there. So everybody say a prayer that I find my car. <laughs> because right now I'm living on the edge. Living on the edge of being stuck in nature. I mean, not really a bad thing at all. But, um,. Okay, I'm sending everybody lots of love. Also, if you want, if you're a parent, you want to read up, Raising the Vogue Ones is out. I'll also post a link for that. It's all about living your truth, living from faith, being the oneness of the universe, and teaching that shit to our children so that we can raise a stronger, more heart coherent, and loving generation. Um, and loving you, obviously. All right, um, <laughs> I'm gonna go focus now. Sending everybody laugh. Have a beautiful day.